Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the Avengers prequel comics, specifically the first one. If you want to see the rest of them, let me know in the comments below. Real quick before we get started, I wanted to let everyone know I am now a Amazon affiliate, which means if you use the link in the description of my videos and purchase anything, it'll help support the channel. Anyways, if you do enjoy the video, like and subscribe, and here we go. Now these comics released before the game and there are five total. Well, kind of. There's also a non-canon Miss Marvel one and a Pride special. Let me know if you think I should do a video on those two as well. Now, I am using images from the comics, but they've been altered to hopefully help copyright issues. Also, you can purchase these comics yourself using the link in the description. First comic is Marvel's Avengers Iron Man number one, and this is the one we'll be talking about today. The comic opens with the Avengers fighting the Lethal Legion, while the other Avengers fought Titania, Absorbing Man, and Whirlwind. Iron Man was fighting the villain known as the Beetle. Tony shoots his repulsor at Beetle with Beetle easily dodging it. Something is off. Any other day, the Avengers would have easily wiped the floor with them. But right now, the Avengers are losing, but Cap has a plan to regroup and switch opponents. Widow leaps off of Hulk's head, propelling her directly into the Beetle. Using Mjolnir, Thor is able to defeat Whirlwind. Iron Man flies straight towards the ground before quickly changing directions and slamming right into Titania, throwing her directly against the Hulk. Cap quickly knocks Absorbing Man down while Widow slams Beetle into the ground from above. Steve congratulates the team, but Iron Man knows something is off. Beetle isn't that smart, he couldn't have possibly outsmarted him. And then he sees it while scanning the Beetle's armor. He notices something, Stark System 17 core in operation. Five hours later, Tony arrives at the vault. If you aren't already aware, the vault is a maximum security facility designed to hold superhuman criminals and extraterrestrial prisoners. Tony arrives at Abner Jenkins' cell, aka the Beetle. Tony demands to know where Beetle got the files, but Beetle refuses to tell. Hours later at Stark Industries, after running multiple security scans, Jarvis has informed him again. Security protocols intact, networks untapped. After having a discussion with Natasha while sparring, Tony comes to one conclusion, it was S.H.I.E.L.D. He then goes to visit Bruce. He then goes to visit Bruce. He, he then point blank asks Bruce if he helps S.H.I.E.L.D. compromise his security. Bruce angrily denies it, and Tony then informs Bruce to be careful around S.H.I.E.L.D. before leaving. We then see a S.H.I.E.L.D. employee leaving the building the next morning. Iron Man swoops in behind this S.H.I.E.L.D. agent before informing them he knows it's him who's been stealing the data. But there's one problem, Tony doesn't exactly know who this is. Tony blasts him, revealing his true identity as Spymaster. Spymaster throws something at Tony, shocking and disorienting Tony. Spymaster has him pinned and could kill him easily. Spymaster chose to do a villain monologue, giving Tony time to reboot his systems. Tony then knocks Spymaster out with one swift hit. We then see Fury leaving for work before seeing Tony with a knocked out Spymaster sitting in his flying car. Tony then gives Nick a speech about how much the Avengers have helped the world and how Nick shouldn't be spying on them and how this was all S.H.I.E.L.D.'s fault. Nick disagrees, informing Tony conten contingencies have to be in place. Tony then leaves having wiped all his data from S.H.I.E.L.D. servers and informing Fury he will see him at the office. This is the end of our first comic. Now overall I think this comic is pretty good. It's nice to see the Avengers before 8 day and you get to see a lot more villains. It's honestly disappointing that this comic you see Whirlwind, Beetle, Titania, and Absorbing Man, and Spymaster, all with original designs and they never show up once in the game. I'm sure at some point they expected to add them at, at least at some point, but clearly that never happened. You also see hints at a relationship between Monica and Bruce during part of this issue. The art for the comic is really well done as well, and I honestly think the designs for the Avengers look a little better in comic form. There's also some fun dialogue between characters, but overall the story is pretty one note. Tony's tech is stolen, he finds out who did it, he stops it, basically a 20 page version of Armor Wars. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen a full comic run tie-in for the game, but we only got a handful of comics instead. Now, that's really all I have to say about it. If you want me to make a video on the rest of the comics, that's really all I have to say about it. If you want me to make a video on the rest of these, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.